Hello and welcome to Conquering Alba, where we take you to the historical places that make Scotland what it is today. Today we are in North Ayrshire as we visit Kilwinning Abbey. Kilwinning Abbey was founded in the late 1100s. It has close ties to Kelso Abbey, one of Scotland's great border abbeys, which provided it with its colonising monks. The abbey was probably founded by Sir Richard de Morville. Either he or his father, Hugh de Morville, also founded Drybra Abbey, which is also in the borders along with Kelso Abbey. Kilwinning is a Gaelic name, meaning the Church of St Finnan. Kil is an old Gaelic word, no longer in use, which derives from the Latin cella, which means a monk's cell, which also gives us English cell. It appears many times in Scotland in names beginning with Kill. St Winning, also known as St Finnan, was a Christian missionary from Ireland who came to Scotland at the end of the 7th century. He travelled through the west of Scotland converting the locals to Christianity and establishing churches of worship. Thank <laughs> you. 
Kilwinning was a Tyrrhenesian Benedictine monastic community named after Tyrrhen in the Diocese of Chartres. It was a rich and flourishing monastery for over 400 years and its great west doorway, south wall of the nave and the gable of the south transept are beautifully preserved. Despite the size of the abbey, it appears that the monastic buildings were never finished. Many of the buildings were pulled down at the time of the Reformation, perhaps at the instigation of the Earls of Argyll and Glencairn, and by 1591 much of the site lay in ruins. The most striking part of the abbey ruins is the northwest bell tower. This seems to have been detached from the body of the church right from the start. It was struck by lightning in 1805 and fell down a few years later. It was then replaced by the current bell tower, but several features of the medieval tower were retained, including several rather amusing, grotesque faces above the doorway. The east end of the monastic church was repaired and used as a parish church, but then this in turn was pulled down and replaced by the present parish church in 1775. Aside from the tower, the best preserved parts of the abbey ruins include the chapter house fronting onto a small cloister walk and the east processional doorway from the cloister to the church. The lovely doorway replaced the original arch which was blocked and turned into a book cupboard. There are only partial remains of stone walls along the south and west sides of the cloister and sections of the southwest tower and west transept of the abbey church. Aside from those partial remains, the most impressive feature at Kilwinning is the restored south transit wall with its large lancet windows which stand to its full height. Kilwinning Abbey was also used for witch trials. One of the most famous ones was the trial of Bessie Graham in 1649, where she had been accused of witchcraft. During an argument with her neighbour, bystanders interpreted Bessie's words as a curse. A few days later, the neighbour had died. A witch finder ruled that from her conduct, she was indeed a witch and she was burnt at the stake at Coors Hillmuir.
In 1513, the Earls of Angus and Glencairn raided the Abbey and causing destruction. In 1559, the Earl of Glencairn led an assault on the Abbey, causing considerable damage. Books, pictures, statues, vestments and images were burnt. During this time, many abbeys, lands and properties were plundered by the aristocrats. Legend goes that a monk at Kilwinning cursed those stealing from the abbey and called upon St Winning for vengeance. Shortly after, the saint's statue fell and killed three of the Earl's men. According to legend, during the assault, the black book of the abbey, gold candlesticks, silver cups and crosses were not found, and they are apparently hidden in the vault underneath the abbey.
We hope you have enjoyed today's video here at Kilwinning Abbey. It is interesting to see how the monks of the time would have lived out through this era. If you have enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe for more. And until next time, Alba Gobra.